So today I wanted to do another study with me video focusing on how I memorize things. These techniques can be used for just about any subject and they're all pretty simple. So the first one is something that I talked about in a previous video about how I take notes, but this is rewriting my class notes and making them pretty. I like doing this just because sometimes in class when I'm writing things down, I'm just trying to write it down so quickly that I'm not really comprehending everything. So I like to be able to go back and rewrite them and start the study memorizing process. And I just like making my notes pretty. It helps me remember things. So the next little thing that I like to do is create mini practice tests. Or in this case, I created a chart of all of the different tenses in Spanish with just a few words on the side. I'll then go back and try and fill out this chart to the best of my ability without looking at any of my notes. If you need your notes, that is totally okay, but try to work up to not needing them and try at least one time without your notes because I think you will surprise yourself with how much you actually do remember. But this is a great way to test yourself and just memorize things. So the third tip or trick that I have for all of you is something that I learned in elementary school for learning, on how, learning how to spell uh, words correctly. Um, this is called see, say, cover, write, check. It's pretty simple and it can be applied to just about anything. So how you do this is you write down the word, you look at it, you say the word out loud, cover it, and then try to write it, write it down next to, to it without looking. After you check your word to see if it's correct, you then repeat the same process as many times as you want. Like I said, this can be applied to just about anything. I use this to memorize and spell words correctly on vocab tests, but as you can see here, I'm also go going to use it to remember correct conjugations. So for that, I first look at the correct conjugation in my class notes, write them down, and then look them over once more. I'll then say them out loud, cover them, and then rewrite them, and lastly, check them. This is actually very helpful when it comes to the test because for me, I'm able to visualize doing this and see the correct conjugation in my mind. So usually what I do is when I get the test in front of me, I will immediately write down the correct conjugations to the side and the margins or something so I don't forget them during the test. So those are just a few ways to memorize while studying and how to test yourself. So good luck with any tests that are coming up for you and with the new semester. And thank you for watching. And I will see you all in my next video.